Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today we'll run through this paper on a study of NMN with mice. Although NMN has shown benefits in multiple areas in preclinical trials, such as mitochondrial health and DNA repair, leading to improvements in Alzheimer's, macular degeneration, and type 2 diabetes, it has not shown life extension that I'm aware of. In this case, it extended the median lifespan by about 20%, as well as reducing frailty and improving the colon function. Let's have a look at the details. So a quick summary. As we age, our gut function deteriorates, which may contribute to overall aging. Some evidence suggests that NMN may modulate the gut function, but there is a lack of literature on this. NMN supplementation extended the lifespan and reduced frailty in ZMPSTE24 knockout mice. We discuss the effects of knocking out ZMPSTE24 in a bit. A second test looked at the effects of NMN on the gut in wild type mice and saw improved gut wall function related to more goblet cells and higher expression of tight junction proteins. There were also positive changes to the microbiome, particularly increase in relative abundance of Acomantia and Bifidobacterium pseudolongum. NMN can delay frailty in old age and help with healthy aging and delay gut aging. Knocking out ZMP-STE24 in mice causes them to age more rapidly. Why is this? So lamin A is an important gene which is involved in the structure of the nucleus and DNA repair, especially of double strand breaks. It's present in both mice and humans. It is made from a precursor, pre-lamin A, using this path. ZMP-STE24 catalyzes the last step in the path, and without it, lamin A cannot be made. This leads to increased DNA damage and faster aging, and is commonly used as a model of accelerated aging in mice. Genetic issues with this pathway, which interrupt the making of lamin A in humans, also cause diseases of rapid aging. In the first study, the mice were given PBS, phosphate buffered saline, as a control, or 100 milligrams or 300 milligrams of NMN by oral gavage every other day, starting at five to seven weeks old. I will not convert this into human age as the mice were aging unnaturally fast. Converting the dosing using an allosteric conversion factor of 12.3 gives the 100 milligrams per kilogram as 8.1 milligrams per kilogram or 609 milligrams for a 75 kilogram person, and the 300 as 24.4 milligrams per kilogram, or 1.8 grams for a 75 kilogram person. Though please bear in mind, this was on alternate days. This was continued until the animals died of natural causes. There were nine to 10 mice in each group. Looking at the Kaplan-Meier curve for the 300 milligram group, there was a median increase in lifespan by about 20%. Maximum lifespan also increased. There was no significant difference in the 100 milligram group, and their data is not shown. There was also a decrease in frailty as measured by the Sinclair Frailty Index. The 300 milligram group saw a significant improvement in this score during the study. In the next part of the study, they investigated the effects of NMN on the gut integrity of C57 BL6 mice, a common strain of lab mouse. The mice were 10 months old at the start of the study, which is about 50 year old for a human. For this experiment, they only used 300 milligrams per kilogram, again, on alternate days. With aging in mice and humans, there is a deterioration in the gut wall, leading to greater permeability and increased inflammation. Part of the intestinal wall is made up of goblet cells. These are the cells which secrete the mucus that lines the gut wall and forms part of the barrier. They decline with age. NMN supplementation increased their numbers by about 40%, thereby improving the mucosal barrier function. The gut wall is a single cell thick and needs to keep chemicals in the gut from getting into the body. The cells are held together by tight junctions, whose job is to keep the lining sealed. Claudine 1 is a protein that makes up the tight junctions. Its presence was strongly increased in the NMN group by more than four times 
implying a better gut barrier function. There was also a reduction in inflammation in the gut wall, as shown by the increase in interleukin-10, an anti-inflammatory cytokine, which has been associated with improved gut barrier function in previous studies. Although interferon gamma and interleukin-6, both inflammatory cytokines, remained unchanged. Cells in the gut lining renew every four days, and they are generated from stem cells, which are activated by LGR5 and the Wnt signaling pathway. I'm not going to go any further into this, but the activation of these stem cells is key for maintaining the gut barrier function. The higher levels of LGR5, beta-catenin and Wnt indicate increased activation of the stem cells. Menemen also changed the gut microbiome of the mice. Anything to do with the microbiome is always complex, and I'm not going to dive into all the details, but a couple of points. There are indices which track the diversity of the species of the microbiome, where diversity is generally considered to be a good thing. Here are the results of three of them, Shannon, Chow, and ACE indices. In each case, the index increased with NMN, though only the Shannon index was significant. For specific species which increased, there was Bifidobacterium pseudolongum. Acamantia mucinophilia also increased, but I see that the p-value is 0.06, so this did not reach significance. Pseudolongum helps with the gut bacteria function, particularly strengthening the tight junctions and regulates the composition of the microbiome. As a probiotic, it has been shown to boost the host immune response. While acamantia helps maintain the mucosal membrane, they also reported a change in the gut microbiome makeup to a more youthful composition. As a note, the authors declared no conflicts of interest. I was interested in this paper because so far I have not seen any NMN studies which have shown life extension in mice. Although I did find a 2017 patent based on NMN, which claimed a 29% increase. However, the study used mice which were unnaturally aging fast and had a mutation which disabled one form of DNA repair. NAD, which is raised by NMN, is required by many other methods of DNA repair, so it makes sense that increasing it might help compensate for the lack of lamin A. The studies were also small, with only 10 mice in each group. The other part was the improvement in the gut barrier function. The decrease in the integrity of the gut barrier and the associated inflammation have come up in discussions with our guests. If NMN can help modulate the gut microbiome and support epithelium stem cells, this might be helpful. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you all well. <laughs>